Yeah, real knocking up on niggas. Like, no, literally. Y'all, that's like the scariest thing you could do is knock over a nigga drink. But look, let me tell y'all what I did today. Because I did something even more fucked up. Bitch, tell me why I knocked over this nigga purse today, y'all. Oh, my God. Bitch, I was so scared. Y'all, knocked over his purse. Knocked over his purse, y'all. It was 60 in there. Now, why the fuck would he not have the lid on the motherfucking purse? Good, bitch. So, the water got in the fucking thing of purse. I tried to get him out and dry him off, but... It had already started. And, like, I really don't know what to do, so I just... Because why would you not have the fucking lid on the purse good and I didn't fucking drop the purse in the water, bitch? And I, a, a nigga mad at me. What you mad at me for? You should have been more responsible. Why would you have them on the counter that close to some fucking dishwater? And then you just, you careless. You fucking careless. Like, that's really what it was. That nigga fucking careless. I don't feel like that was my fault. I just, I just, I don't feel like that was my fault. Because, cause my nigga, why in the fuck would you have the purse that close? Why would you have the purse that close? Did you not want them? You couldn't have won them. You couldn't have fucking won them purse. And I, Motherfucker wanna have an attitude with me and be mad with me. Bitch, that's not my fucking fault. You shouldn't have had that shit that close to that motherfucking water. Like, I just feel like it gotta be some accountability there. Ugh. I'll clean this last because it's dirty, dirty. Yeah, like, you gotta take some accountability, sir. You must then want them perks because why would you have them perks right there? Why would you have them that close? Girl, you know them niggas don't play about their perks, but all I'm saying is, why would you have that that close to the fucking water? You couldn't have wanted the perks. Like, what type of shit is that, sir? You couldn't have wanted them purse. Baby, stop worrying about my weight. Worry about your mom weight. A nigga still fucked up, fat, funky, facetious, nasty, sack of quarter shaped ass bitch. But you ain't here worrying about me, but you love that fat ass hoe. Y'all be having some fucking nerves, bitch. Y'all be asking me and saying shit about my weight, bitch. Then I look at y'all fucking mama, and that hoe look like a sock with a sock in it, with another sock in it, with three more pairs of fucking socks in it, bitch. Y'all be worrying about the wrong fucking thing. It ain't about if you like it. Somebody like this little shit. Know that. Y'all be worried about the wrong fucking thing. Hold on. Like, I'll just be too worried about the wrong thing. And then when I start talking about y'all fat nasty ass mama, then I'm wrong. But, yeah, going back to what I was saying, I just, I don't feel like it's my fault. Who y'all, who fault it was? Was it my fault or was it his fault? And y'all can be honest with me because y'all know we always keep it real with each other. So if y'all feel like I'm wrong, y'all can fucking say that. And I'll take that into consideration. But okay, so all right, this how it happened. The dishwater is in the sink, right? The dishwater in the sink. Now, y'all know my booty. It got my mind up and up. So you see, the booty is booty. So I back up. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. And that thing I know I hear something fall in the zinc. 
So I look in the thing, I'm like, oh! Bitch, I get them like this. I'm like, oh my God, they stuck together. I see the water in there. So I hurry up, I sip some of the water out of there. I sip some of the water out of there. Then I look, bitch, the perks just all fucked up. So yes, I knocked over all 60 of this man perks. I knocked over all 60 of this man perks in some dishwater. And the cap wasn't on there good. And I just don't feel like that's my fault. And it's so unfortunate, y'all. And I'm so fucking sad. Like, I can't believe I did some shit like that. But at the end of the day, I just don't feel like... I don't feel like it's my fault. I feel like he should have had the perks, bitch, somewhere where I couldn't... You know? Like, my booty just... It had him on his own, baby. It just knocked the person that when I backed up on the counter. Like, that wasn't my fault. Like, niggas be putting drugs and shit in the stupidest places. Like, a nigga... A nigga will really put his cup of lean in front of the door and get mad because you get out the bed and don't look on the floor and, and kick it over. Bitch, why is this on the floor? Why, why is this right here? Fuck. You need to move all that shit, bitch. Matter of fact, look. If you do drugs or you sell drugs, don't ever bring that shit to my house no more, bitch. Just keep keep y'all shit with you, bitch. Leave it in the motherfucking car. I wish somebody met the fuck out Bitch, ain't nobody gonna bat me, bitch. A bad ball, too. And I ain't really that even. Bitch, I ain't even no bitch nigga to play with like that. But all I'm saying is that shit just wasn't my fault. And it's just, it's unfortunate. And I hate it. And I didn't hear y'all the attitude. But, oh, well, bitch, you shouldn't have had that shit right there. Why the fuck you got the perks right here by some fucking dish water, bitch? It ain't like I fucking ran the water after, after you fucking put the perks right there. Bitch, the water was already right there. So why would you have perks this close to some fucking dish water? Now, I done backed up like that. And then fucking knock the see how see how I just knocked these in there. That's how I knocked that in there. He just gonna have to suck my dick, cause bitch, ain't nothing I can do for you, bitch. I don't know. I don't know about no purse, I don't know about no drugs and all that bitch. Don't even bring that shit. Bitch, I'm a, bitch, I'm not replacing a bitch ass thing. I'm replacing a motherfucking purse, bitch. I know how to tell you bring that shit up in here, bitch. You can about that. Go buy you some more, bitch. Cause bitch, now I'm mad. What you want? I wish I could. Bitch, shut up. Cause you was supposed to come over here yesterday and you didn't with your funk ass. Bitch, I don't know fuck about you. Fuck you too. Bitch, I'll knock your purse over. Yeah, like I just, I wasn't feeling that. Cause now you mad with me about some motherfucking purse. Bitch, I'm not replacing no motherfucking purse. I ain't taking bring no fucking purse over here. It's just, it's unfortunate. It's just fucking unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know. It's just unfortunate, y'all. It's a very unfortunate situation. I wish I could change it. Fuck it. Bitch, I almost canceled this phone and bet the fuck out. Bitch, I'm not sucking no nigga dick because of no perks. Bitch, I'm not no addict. I'm not no motherfucking addict. What type of shit y'all think this is? Bitch, I'm not sucking no motherfucking dick behind no motherfucking lost purse, nigga. Fuck him and the purse. I wish the fuck I would.
felt about Felicia from um Friday on the internet crying talking about everybody was uh talking about her character calling her a crackhead and shit like that and, and she was crying talking about nobody took up for her character her character was a nice girl who um who didn't who didn't curse and this and that that this and the third and nobody stood up for felicia or whatever like that how y'all how y'all feel about that because i just feel like that's some typical no offense to my light skin girls, but that's just some typical victim light skin girl shit. Like this whole really crying behind a motherfucking fictional character, bitch. She saying we didn't take up for Felicia the fucking character, bro. Like, girl, come on, get out of here. Like, that was deep to me. Like, that was a lot. Like, bitch, you crying about the character Felicia? Bitch, do you know what all precious went behind? Behind Bill. Look at that. I ain't even fucking call a girl Gabby. My bad, Gabby. Bitch, do you know what motherfucking precious had to go through behind motherfucking playing precious, bitch? It don't matter what other movie that girl played and they call that motherfucking whole precious. And you crying about being motherfucking Felicia the crackhead. Girl. Cry me a motherfucking river, bitch. Gas motherfucking ten dollars a gallon, and this whole on here crying, talking about we didn't take up for Felicia. Again. Bye, Felicia. Talking about she gets so tired of people saying bye, Felicia. And woo -do -woo -do -woo -do -woo -do -woo -do Y'all gotta stop with that shit, bro. Like, y'all gotta stop with that bitch ass shit, bro. Y'all got to stop. Like, I really, I really, let me say something. I really think she was more so upset that she wasn't able to climb out of that box as Felicia. And I could be, I could be wrong. You know, I could be wrong. But, like, or, or, or for instance, think about all the movies that Monique played in, right? But they gonna forever look at Monique as Nikki Parker or Precious Mama. When it comes to TV shows, all they know is, is Nikki Parker. And if it and when it comes to um when it comes to movies, they be like Precious Mama. And Monique done been in so many fucking movies, bro. Like, so like I just don't get that. Or like the woman, the fucking woman uh, who played Ronnie in Players Club, like, bruh, like she went to jail after that shit, so she didn't really get a chance to um to like evolve and be in more movies and shit like that. Cause you know, she went to jail for shooting a nigga at Freak Nick or whatever for playing with her, right? So it's just like, you know, that that's fucked up, bro. I like who else? Motherfucking Lisa Ray been in so many movies, but y'all still gonna call her Diamond from Players Club. Like, that shit just crazy. Like, I really feel like, I really feel like. She just, I, I like Tyrese. Tyrese been in so many movies, but we still gonna call him Jody. Like, and I just think that she was just more so upset that she did, she couldn't crawl out of the box of Felicia. And that's really what the issue was. Because, girl, you really crying about people saying about Felicia or talking about the fucking character being a crackhead. Like, she really hard down crying talking about, oh, nobody took up for Felicia. Nobody took up for Felicia. And it's like, I'm not trying to disregard her feelings, but girl, come on. It's, it's so much going on in the world right now. And, and you fucking hollering about a fucking fictional character. Like, I don't know. I just feel like that's some typical life skin girl shit. No offense to my life skin girls, bitch. I know I love y'all, bitch. My mom life skin. But, some of y'all and y'all know who y'all are, bitch. Y'all got that victim shit down pack. Like, it be so crazy. Y'all be having that little victim shit down fucking pack. So, let's talk about some other shit. Do y'all believe in, um... Do y'all believe in, uh... Pretty privilege? And do and how, like, how much, um, do y'all think, um... It affects women. I don't feel like I have pretty privilege, though, because I'm fat. And, you know, sometimes people confuse being pretty with, like, what size you are for some reason. But, yeah, like, do y'all believe in, uh, like, pretty privilege? Like, 
Um, like, do y'all think, uh, like, it really, um, So y'all say, yeah, y'all believe in pretty privilege? I believe in that shit too. Yeah, it is. But y'all know something that's crazy. Do y'all agree or do y'all disagree? I don't feel like niggas like girls with like good personalities or like bitches that's funny and shit like that. Like I really think niggas really just like hoes that's not cool. Like bitches who got like bad attitudes and shit like that. Cause like on some real shit, Every nigga I ever acted ugly with, like why I wasn't that cool, they be ready to fucking marry you. But when you be on some cool shit, some down to earth shit, like you a fun bitch and you know how to have fun and how to work a room and have a good time, like niggas don't, they don't be feeling that. Like I really feel like niggas really like hoes with bad attitudes, like bitches with no sense of humor, bad attitudes, like bitches who just like me. Like, I really feel like niggas like mean girls. Like, bitches who be on there, you can't sit with us type shit. Like, I feel like... Like, I feel like... That's what... You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what they like. Like, I don't feel like niggas value girls with, like, good personalities. Good sense of humor and shit like that. Like, it's really just about... Like, they just want you to be like... You know... If y'all kind of get what I'm saying, you know? But, yeah. What y'all think? Look, I wish all y'all little Arabic niggas get the fuck out of here. Bitch, I don't know y'all. I don't know how to speak that. I'm not adding y'all. And just, bitch, get out. Like, go back to Dubai or wherever y'all fucking come from. Get the fuck off my life. What y'all disgusting ass? Bitch, I don't understand all that dirka dirka shit. Bitch, get out. Or maybe, like, it's because, like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. You know they always say pretty girls don't be the ones complaining. They be the ugly girls. So, mm -hmm, maybe I missed the memo. Maybe I'm, you know, on the other side. I'm just super nice and they're cold. It's a kind of, yeah. I don't think niggas like nice, like nice, like cool bitches and shit. Like, I just, mmm. Mm. I'm not even talking about mingling because you don't have to be no bitch that's friendly with a bunch of niggas. Like, I just don't personally think that they like cool bitches. Like, they really like mean bitches with bad attitudes. Like, that's really what I feel like that's what attract niggas. Like, that's what turn niggas on. Like, bitches with bad attitudes, hoes that don't know how to have a good time. Bitches with, bitches with no sense of humor. Like, that's what niggas like. I feel like bitches that's nice, bitches that's cool, bitches that's fun, they like, they get fucked and they get fucked over. Like, I don't... Ooh! Ooh, good thing. Good, a good bowl. Nah, like, that's, that's how I feel. But that's just my opinion. I'm not a nigga, but... That's what I've assessed. I'm like, because I'm around so many men, like, I just, I see what attract niggas. Like, every time I'm around a group of niggas and, like, they picking bitches and shit, it's always hoes that's not fun. Like, bitches with no sense of humor, like, they just gonna sit there and be pretty. Like, that's what, that's what I feel. Bitch, I'm not dramatic. I just drive... My motherfucking glass bowl, bitch. On the floor. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never seen, like, cool, funny bitches ever get picked. Like, cool, 
funny, down to earth. Those are not the hoes that get picked. Like, niggas like bitches that are bad and bougie. They want women and young ladies. They can introduce. They can introduce the new things. Remember, they're hundred, so you have to act like you don't know what's up, girl. You get to play naive. Bitch, I'm not playing stupid to attract no nigga. If a nigga can't respect my mind, bitch, and that I know something, then I'm not the bitch for him because I could never play stupid for a nigga. It's gonna forever be fuck a nigga if I gotta play stupid, bitch. Maybe I'm just. Mmm. Mmm. Ain't for me. That ain't for me. I can never do that. Bitch, playing stupid for a nigga? Why? Ain't that deep to me. Bitch, I'll be by myself if I play stupid. So a nigga could like me. Not my thing, mama. I hope that's working for you, though. Girl, I would fucking go crazy sitting there playing stupid like I don't fucking know shit. Any nigga that want a dumb hoe is, like, not the nigga for me anyway. But on some real shit, you know how sometimes you just come to the realization of shit? Like, I think I came to, like, the realization a long time ago. Like, I don't think I'm going to have kids. Cause I'm already 27. That's old as fuck. I don't think I'm gonna have kids, and I probably ain't gonna get married. Either. I don't know, bitch. I probably never be with nobody. Cause I just feel like I can't just sit there and play stupid or be letting no nigga cheat on me or do all that shit. Like I don't. That's not my thing. Like I'm not into that. Like, it's unfortunate. Of course, like, you know, everybody would like to have a mate or end up with somebody, but if it means, like, I have to, like, stop being myself or let a nigga put on my top for the sake of, like, having a nigga, like, that's not my thing. That, that'll never be me. That's very what I want. For no nigga that like I don't know like that, and like in my mind I want to be married before I have a baby, and I'm already 27 years old. I don't know nobody, I don't talk to nobody. There's no nigga I'm involved with. Like you gotta meet a nigga and be with a nigga, and then the nigga gotta marry you. It takes a nigga 10 years to want to marry a bitch. In 10 years, bitch, I'm gonna be 37, 38. So it's just like, it's over, like, by the time I meet a nigga and we get serious and get married, if that ever happen, bitch, it's gonna be too late, so, I don't know, I just feel like I ain't gonna have kids. What kind of guys I like? You know something to be honest with you, though. I don't even 
don't even know no more. Honestly. If he ain't proposing two, two and a half years, he's gonna get him alone. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what type of niggas too like. Like, I don't know. They all just like nothing to me, for real. Like, I done dated niggas that's in the fast life. I done dated niggas that's in the slow life. I, well, and I take that back. Like, let's stop that dating word. Like, I didn't talk to niggas that's in the fast life. I didn't talk to niggas that's in the slow life. I didn't talk to nine to five niggas. I didn't talk to, um, uh, genre of black man then it's just like i'm so pro black like i don't date outside my race and i just feel like that's something that hinders me as well because it's like i don't know black men not even really attracted to like women of my genre for real so so like it kind of just leave me like in this weird ass space because like i don't date outside my race but black men like just so far behind with like wanting to like be with women and shit like that. Like they be having so many fucking emotion like emotional traumas and stuff like that to where they don't wanna be with women. They really fucking emotionally attracted and connected to me and like Bullshit like with day and black men. It's just so much shit with dating them. So like I said, it just be it just be it be it be too fucking much. It be too much. I just don't I don't know. Cause like I said, like when that girl said When that girl said what she said about I'm 
really need is hard to kill me. <laughs> Trying to kill this shit like perfect 50. I've been a prophet for a while since I was 15. I'm thinking shit, I might bring my chili. I need a way to get it. the difference and why they dating this race man to justify why they dating them like bitch if you dating this man because you genuinely just want to date him you wouldn't be feeling you wouldn't be feeling the need to like give all these explanations to why you dating outside your race but when black people get to explaining all these pros and cons of dating out i mean all these pros of dating outside their race just for the simple fact that just for the simple fact that they couldn't find what they wanted in black people like i think that's fake I think that's fake. Now, if you meet somebody and you vibe with them and they're another race and you like them, okay, that's cool. There's a lot of black people who all they do is they, they date outside their race and then all they do is talk about why they dating outside their race. Oh, black men don't do this. Black women don't do this. Black men don't do this. Black women don't do that. But why you got to say all that to say why you dating? Who you dating? You know what I'm saying? So, like I was saying, I just be feeling like... Black men is hard as a motherfucker. Like, I don't know. 
know. Like, I've been in this little funk. I don't want to do nothing. Like, I don't want to rap. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't really know what to do when you kind of, like, get to this point. But, I don't know. I don't really enjoy nothing no more. Like, I don't like, I don't like rapping. That shit's so fake. I don't know. I be feeling overworked. Overlooked. Underheard. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know you been a bitch. <laughs> Soon as you get killed, I'm going home and kiss my bitch right on her clitoris. I can't hear this shit. I can't hear it. Oh, who wanna block all these foreign people from out my life? How many moderators I can make? make you a mind a moderator can turn off comments and or remove someone from the live you can only add one moderator per live and b do your job bro yeah. get all them bitches out of here Andy. Even when I'm, I'm removing some of them too but anyways but I don't know, y'all. That's just why I'm at with me. I don't. Any of y'all got like married and had kids like late? I guess like in like your mid thirties, late thirties, early forties. Any of y'all? I mean, my mom had me at forty. Less problems, no nigga. You don't have to worry about him not being there, bitch, because he never existed. Or like, you don't have to worry about nobody, motherfucking. No baby daddy, no drama, 
no other bitches, no other baby mamas. Like, you just don't have to worry about nothing. You already know that you're doing it by yourself. You made the decision. You just do that shit by yourself. Like, I think I, think I would want that versus having a baby daddy. Or, like, having feelings for a nigga. Trying to work out, like, you know, a kid, him leaving us. Like, I don't have time for all that. I think... I think I might do some shit like that. Like, or like I might have a baby like with one of my gay homeboys or something that wants children. Some shit like that. But like I couldn't fathom like having a baby father and like he leaving us or he got another woman pregnant or you know like niggas, niggas just don't be on nothing bro for real. Like they just really don't be on nothing for real. So I don't know. Maybe that'll be like Maybe that'll be better. Because I just can't see me, like, putting my life in no nigga hands like that. You can't trust a nigga with his own life, let alone yours and your kids. That's the beauty of children as a Libra. We have to let go of control instead of unconditioning. I don't know. I don't know about that, sis. I be with y'all, but I ain't with y'all on that one. Like, I really think. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I ain't never seen no good baby daddy and baby mama situation. All good baby mamas get bad baby daddies. And I'm, I know I'm going to be a, a fucking great mom. And all motherfucking good baby daddies get trash ass baby mamas. Like, so, I just feel like by 35, if I'm not in a relationship, married...
baby. This girl, and you still with her. And see, that's fucked up. That's so fucked up. What does heartbreak feel like? Oh my god. Oh, it feels so bad. Like, it feels like you're dying. Yeah. For real, for real. That shit feel like you want to die. Say you want to love your grandma and grandpa head? Nah, for real. Like, I just feel like if I'm, if I don't know, if I don't have no kids by like 35, me and one of my gay homeboys gonna make a baby. I'm gonna feel like I'm artificial as the baby. Because I got a lot of gay homeboys that want a baby. Or either, I'm gonna just have a baby with no daddy at all. That's just, just my opinion. Yeah. I ain't talking about nobody else. Yeah. Yeah. That's just how I feel. Think it's trying to leave me. Think it's trying to sink me. I don't know why. I'm saying, y'all, I got this rolling tray. I got a lot of drugs in these rough moments. I got a lot of drugs in these rough moments. I got a lot of drugs in these rough moments. You said, what's the question? I was asking, did any of y'all, like, have children, like, late, like, in your 30s or... Y'all come here. I'm about to start a new life. 